Jinx World. Today, we are going to investigate heat, specifically a thermoscope. This model here is similar to the one that Galileo first invented many years ago. If we look at our model, what we see is we have a tube connected to a flask running into the beaker. We have our green liquid. In the flask, up here, is full of air. Now, if we look at our liquid here, what we're going to do is try to get this liquid to move up and down. But first, safety. Goggles. Protective hat so that my hair doesn't burn. Okay, because we're going to be working with flame today. Now, where did I put that lighter? Okay, here we go. So we light our alcohol lamp. Now, if we look closely, what's going to happen as we heat up our flask is our liquid will move down. And we can see here how quickly it's moving. It's coming down. And what exactly is happening is as we heat the flask, the air inside the flask is gaining energy. And as it gains energy, the particles of air want to move faster. So as those particles move faster, they want to spread out and take up more space. And so the air runs down the tube and pushes the liquid back into the beaker. So what's happening is the heat energy from the flame is transferring to the air particles, which is creating kinetic energy in the particles of air, which cause them to move faster. And as we look down here, and if we can kind of get in closer, we can see that the liquid has gone, the air has pushed the liquid all the way down, and now we see bubbles. And we can see the bubbles coming up here as the air is pushed out and into this. Now, if we keep heating this for an extended period of time, we do run the risk of maybe a crack or the air causing a problem. So we'll stop there now, cover up our heat flame so we don't have any problems, and gradually this will return back up. So this model of a thermoscope was the beginning of what we know today as thermometers. And our thermometers tell us the temperature. This model here doesn't give us the exact temperature, but it does tell us that temperature is changing because as it warms up, the liquid moves down. When it cools, the liquid moves up. And if we see here now, oh, is this cool enough? We take our ice, we lay it on top, and what we'll see happen now is our liquid will be drawn back up through. We can see down there, is the liquid starting to move up? Yes, it is. So we'll wrap some more ice around. And what's happening now is as it cools, lay that there, the air is losing energy. As it loses energy, it slows down, and the air comes back up, and we can see our green liquid being pulled back up. So that's it today on G's World. Thermoscopes, heat, energy, expanding particles. G's World, wicked awesome.